Hi, this is Arlen Geyer, and today I want to talk about dynamic range. Dynamic range in photography is the range of values that the film or the sensor can reproduce. With film, the dynamic range is largely determined by development time, but with digital cameras, the dynamic range is determined by the sensor. We don't have the flexibility to adjust the dynamic range as you do with film. So to determine what your dynamic range is, the first thing you need to do is set your camera up on a tripod and aim it at a textured surface. I use the wall of my house. And you don't want too strong a texture, but you want an even color, even lighting, you can see this lighting is not quite even, it's a little darker on the top, but even lighting and a mild texture. And put the camera into manual mode. And what you're going to do is to shoot a shot of this at the meter indicated exposure. And then one stop over that, two stops over that, three stops, four stops, five stops and preferably even six, then go back to the meter indicated exposure, do it again, go down one stop, two, three, four, five, and preferably six. I actually went the other way around, I went down first. So, now be sure that when you do this, I do it in, even, in uh, full F stops, I don't do partial stops, and because otherwise I'd simply have just too many um, pieces of information to consider. And so be sure that you are doing full f-stops. So, for example, if you're starting it, um, you could do shutter speeds instead. If you're doing shutter speeds, it's a doubling or halving of the number each time. If you're doing f-stops, um, it's, for example, the sequence from 5.6 to 8 to 11 to 16 to 22, etc. Um, you may find that you have to do a combination of f-stops and shutter speeds in order to get the full range. So. Here's what mine looks like. Here's at the meter indicated exposure, and then down one stop, down two, down three, down four, down five, and down six. Back to the meter indicated exposure, up one, up two, three, four, oops, four, and five. I didn't do six up. Uh, so if you want to evaluate this uh, in terms of what it looks like on the screen, um, it doesn't really have any value unless your monitor is calibrated. If you want to evaluate what capability you have to print, then you have to print the results. If, on the other hand, you simply want to find out what the capability of your sensor is, you could use a program like Lightroom to determine uh, what's, uh, what you're not actually seeing in the default mode. So, for example, if I go down to down one, down two, down three, um, I can still see some texture in here. Let's go to down four. I don't see any texture in here, but if I go to develop mode and increase my exposure, you can see there in fact is some texture in there. So the sensor is still recording detail at one, two, three, four stops under um, the meter indicated exposure. So we'll put this back down to zero again. And the, so let's look at going up. So up one, two, three, and I've lost it here, so let's just check if I do this. Plenty of detail in there, and let's put that back to there, and let's go up one more, and take a look at that one, and I even have a little bit of detail in there. So, what this is telling me is that my sensor is still recording some detail in light areas that are one, two, three, four, five stops over the uh, middle gray, let's put that back again, and it's recording detail at one, two, three, four stops under middle gray. So that's the dynamic range of the sensor in this camera at this ISO, which was ISO 100. Um, I also tested it at ISO 400 and came up with the same results. So there you have it. Thank you.